Hello guys, this is Sam. In this video lesson, we are going to learn creating the speech to text converter in JS. Please ensure whether the microphone is enabled on your laptop, PC or Mac. Most importantly, you should have a Google Chrome browser. This video lesson is strictly browser specific. Please, please consider downloading the Google Chrome browser if you, uh, if you don't have one. Otherwise, this lesson will not be useful for you. Okay, let me create a new directory here. This is the 16th uh, video in the series. If you want to watch my other videos, please check out the channel URL in the description area. And this lesson is speech to text converter in JS. Let me create a new HTML document and uh, save it inside my 16th directory. Yes and uh, my html snippet in title and uh, let me add a heading tag h4 align center let's add the div to show the converted text so div id uh, result so this is going to show the converter result and the button to start the speech recognition button I want to add a nice microphone icon here so let me copy and paste it here for this lesson, this font as a uh, phantasm uh, CSS is not mandatory. Use it if you want. For simplicity, you can use just this button. For include the icon class FA FA iPhone microphone. Okay. Let's add some styles quickly. Body font family. My font is better now. And styles for result. Height 200 pixel width. Width. Okay, we leave it as 100 percentage. And border 1 pixel solid some gray color and padding to 10 pixel box shadow 0 0 10 pixel 0 and triple B and margin bottom I want to have a margin bottom of 30 pixel and font size to 14 pixel <coughs> line height 20 pixel and styles for button font size for this button is 20 pixel and position absolute top 240 pixel and lift 50 percentage fine let's check this design in the browser uh oh I forgot to say this speech recognition will work only on HTTP server because uh, Google Chrome is not supporting this web speech API in local file mode for some reasons so we need to access this HTML file from HTTP server only in your Mac or Linux you can simply use uh, Python command in your terminal For Windows, you could consider some local HTTP server. Um, I personally recommend XAMPP for Windows based users. Okay, let me navigate to the JS directories. JS tutorials and the lesson 16th lesson. Okay. Python hyphen yum simple HTTP server. I need to mention the port number. So my port number is 1990. I'm sorry, this is 
okay let me use some other port number 9000 okay fine okay let's access this local host 9090 sorry 99000 sorry okay this is the file okay now design is uh, design seems good it's time to code the speech to text converter let's do it where is that okay let's access the results uh, div get element by id result now we need to create the instance for speech recognition speech recognizer equal to webkit speech recognition before that we need to check whether this browser is uh, this browser is supported or not in order to check that let me add a if check here if windows speech recognition in window if it is false then this browser is not supported okay now speech recognizer dot continuous equal to true the default value for the continuous is actually false which means when the user stops talking the speech recognition will end in this lesson we set it to true so that recognition will continue even the even uh, even if uh, user passes while speaking and uh, speech recognition dot interim results equal to true again the default value for the interim results uh, results is false if it is false the results returned by the recognizer are final and will not change in this lesson we set it to true so we get yearly interim results that may subject to change in this lesson we will differentiate the final and interim results uh, final and interim results by color for final results i use black for interim results i use green so that user can able to understand that the gray text saw not final final results will always take some time so we are going to show the interim results to to the user until we get the final results and the language setup my language is english and indian indian ac accent okay, let me show you the languages map here these are all the languages supported by the api not just the languages it also supports the accents this will be your value for the language attribute since i belong to india i am using e and i n okay let's go back to code okay now language setup is done and now i just ask my speech recognizer to start listening to me okay it will start listening to me once it is invoked okay this variable final transcripts okay a variable to uh, to all my uh, final transcripts now we need to listen for the following events speech recognizer on result equal to function will send me event okay and speech recognizer on error equal to function event okay in the body I am not going to add any code in this error method since I'm concentrating on the 
cons concentrating on converting the speech to text okay this method will be invoked whenever the speech engine uh, returns this uh, uh, speech engine returns the result transcripts okay this object uh, this event object will provide me the final transcript and in interim transcript in uh, interim transcript we need to con uh, concatenate both the results and we need to show it in the document let me define a variable to hold the interim transcripts okay empty variable and let me traverse through this variable okay let me uh, let me traverse through this even dot results i dot sorry i less than event dot results length and i plus plus let me get the transcript first event dot results i and zeroth index dot transcript this will give me the transcript now I need to identify whether the transcript is final or not. In order to uh, in order to find that, even dot sorry results of i is final. So this will tell us whether the transcript is final or not. If it is final, you just append it to um, final transcripts variable transcript. Otherwise it should be appended to the interim results okay as we know the final transcripts will not be changed and the interim transcripts uh, are the one subject to change so there is no point in traversing from the zeroth index every time so event dot result index this, so the loop will start from the result index not from zero every time okay everything is taken care now we need to show the result in the page right here our dot in html equal to i'm just opening the final transcripts and uh, interim transcripts okay i want to differentiate the interim transcript from the final transcript so let me add a span here uh, in single quotes span style equal to color uh, some gray color and close the span yes i'm done okay when you're speaking you can also allow to say new paragraph if you say that the result text will written slash n for that if you set slash n in the inner html you don't see any reflection in the document for that i want to where is that i want to replace all the slash ends by break or something else you can use your own logic but I am going to replace the slash n by break tag. Okay, everything's done now. Let's test it quickly. Okay, something is wrong. We need to check it. Nothing is happening. Oh, 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 I'm extremely sorry. We need to. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It should be enclosed in a method. I missed to add a method here. Start converting. Something like this. You can add anything. Inside this method, your code should be placed. I'm sorry for missing this okay okay we missed the else spot also 
लाइक और डॉट इन एर एस टी एम एल यूर ब्राउसर इज नॉट सपोर्टेड इफ गूगल क्रो प्लीज अपग्रेड ओके लेट मी चेक एवरी थिंग इज क्लोज टू प्रॉपरली एंड वी नीड टू एड दिस मेथड in this button on click event i'm extremely sorry for missing this okay let me check this your browser is not supported if google chrome please scrub upgrade actually this is supported let me check why it is become false oh 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 this is not windows web kit yes it's a kit let me test it quickly and one more error new object as you can see the page is seeking for your permission to access the microphone once you give access it will start listening to your speech hello this is sam as you can see the interim transcripts are actually gray colored final text or uh, black colored this is all about creating a speech to text engine using js in google chrome browser please feel free to put your feedback in the below comment section you can get the copy of this document from the description right below this video subscribe to my channel if you like to get more videos like this thanks for watching it bye bye